I've known I've wanted to be a teacher since I was three years old. I got my first chalkboard from Santa, and I would sit and um, teach my little brother. I'd make him sit with my stuffed animals and have lessons for years. Mm -hmm. I did that. So that's, I've just always known that I wanted to teach. Well, high school for me um, was a mixed bag. I loved it because I had a really good core group of friends. I wasn't in, per se, like, you know, all the cliques that go on. I kind of stayed out of that mess. Um, still, I, they're my very good friends to this day. We all just got together a few weeks ago. So that um, well, I've been to undergrad and graduate school. Um, undergrad, I did pretty well. You know, but again, when looking back, I think I could have studied a little bit more. Mostly like bees, going out to New York. It was gorgeous up there. Um, I lived in the dorms for the first couple of years, my sorority house for the last two years. Um, I had a job on campus, so I got to know a ton of people. I really loved it a lot. Graduate school was very different. I was in honor society in graduate school, got phenomenal grades, but I was also teaching at the time, so it was very different than undergrad. I didn't live on campus or anything. <laughs> at any point, like when you were younger, at any point in time, did you think you were going to have another job um, while you were, like, other than teaching? Yes, actually, it, that's a, um, when I was in college, in undergrad, Having known I wanted to be a teacher all the way up and growing up and as a little kid all the way up through college, I didn't do anything to pursue it because I thought that answer is too easy. Like everyone else is struggling with what they want to do. So I decided that um, I wanted to go into public relations and not teaching at that point. And I graduated and interviewed for public relations. I was an English major in college. Mm -hmm. um, interviewed for public relations jobs and realized I didn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. And so I got a job as a teaching assistant and that's how I got back into teaching, well, got into teaching to begin with, and then got my master's while I was that, doing that. What do, you, what do you think of your students? What do I think of my students? I think my students um, are the heart of the school, and they are the personality that makes up the building, building and the school, and I enjoy every single student for what they bring into the classroom. Seeing Ms. Bono's back, I'm going to go down with Alexander. I don't even see in here. There is no What What was your favorite moment? What's your favorite moment as like a teacher? Favorite teaching moment? I, a favorite moment, I don't know if there's only one. I've been teaching for 20 years. So I don't know if I have a favorite moment because there have been so many. I have moments, oh, but I'll tell you a general statement is that when I see students take a risk, like an academic risk, and then they get it. Or they have, they think of something that no one's ever thought of before. Or suddenly it kind of comes together, a really great discussion. Like it could be as easy as reading Macbeth and having a phenomenal discussion and having a student suddenly realize, I do get this, I do know how to do this, and I'm good at this, I'm getting it. Those are the moments in teaching that 